friends, I'm so excited to share this card with you today because I think it's one of my most favorite cards I've made recently. But first, I wanted to walk you through the kit that has the items that I used for the card. Erin Lee Creative has a Shine Bright kit that releases today. It is $75 and it has a ton of items in this kit with two add-on options as well. There are two stamp sets. The first one is a 6x8 stamp set called No Bad Days. And then there is a 4x6 stamp set called Hugs, Sunshine, Smile, and Rainbows. There is a die that has the No Bad Days sentiment, like the one in the stamp set, but it is a standalone die that is slightly smaller. There are additional dies in the kit. First, there are two clouds and two suns, and another rainbow die that is similar to the image in the stamp set, but it is slightly bigger, so it is a standalone die. Next, you'll also get three stencils, two layer on top of each other to create sun rays, and then the last stencil is a large sun with a face and a bunch of little hearts. There are two add-on options of an A2 or Slimline Rainbow Rays die that you can see in this promo. I plan on grabbing at least one of them to go with this kit, and you should also consider it if you love rainbows. But let's jump into today's card. I pulled out a piece of Erin Lee Creative's holographic paper. This paper is quickly becoming a staple in my craft room and I've been pulling it out to use for my cards pretty often. I use it for accents or just a background even. I went ahead and used that rainbow dye in the kit and cut it out using the holographic paper. I wanted the clouds on white cardstock. I had thought about this card and what I wanted to do with it because I do love rainbow colors and I really wanted to play with the holographic paper and kind of change the tone of the color. So it's pretty on its own, of course, because when it reflects the light, it has all these different colors, but I wanted to see what would happen if I put ink on top of it. For today's experiment, I used Ink on 3's Atelier inks, and I will say as a disclaimer, I had tried it with watercolor but the holographic paper kind of has slick to it so the water colors couldn't absorb into the paper. That didn't work out. When I played with the Ink on 3 Atelier inks, I am just pouncing it on with an ink blending tool and adding the color that way. But like I had said, the holographic paper does have slick to it so it doesn't absorb it really quickly and I put my finger on it and it kind of pulled up the ink so I had to think about a way of trapping the color on this holographic paper. I will say that if you do pounce on the ink and you let it dry for a really long time it does eventually stick. You just wipe it off with a microfiber towel and you'll have the tint of that color. So I was thinking about how I wanted to keep these colors because I wanted it to be bright. I didn't want to have to wipe it off and remove most of the color so I thought why not use glossy accents to trap the color. So on this piece of scrap paper, I just have a washi tape on the paper, which will hold down my rainbow stripes as I do this because I don't want my fingers going into the ink on the rainbow stripes. So I am covering the entire space with glossy accents and essentially trapping that color on the rainbow stripes, which I think was such a great idea because it adds dimension and traps the color. So I was so happy with how this turns out. However, with glossy accents, you do have to wait for it to dry. So you have to set it aside and come back to it later. While I was waiting for it to dry, I wanted to play with my background and set it up for my card once everything was dry and ready to go. I'm using one of the sunshine ray stencils from the kit. I adhered it temporarily to a piece of black cardstock and I'm using Ink on 3's Pixie Ducks to go with this card. I am using an ink tool and I pounced it into the pixie dust which comes in the jar. You just need to shake it up and make sure that everything is mixed and I am rubbing it all over the stencil. And of course, because this is on black, you're not seeing anything until it hits the light. Once I remove the stencil, I will show you the shine that it adds. It's so subtle. It's so pretty. I am just so in love with this. I waited for everything to dry and with the power of editing, we fast forwarded to putting this card together. For the clouds, remember I cut it out of white cardstock. I just wanted something different. I 
didn't want to use the holographic because I was going to use it for my sentiment. So I wanted something a little bit more neutral and grounded, but I did want to add a bit of dimension to the cloud. So I just went in with my Copic markers to add a little bit of curvage to the clouds and shape and just add that extra color to it. It's definitely not needed. You definitely can leave it alone and just as white cardstock if you want. So I went ahead and pulled out that positive piece of the rainbow die just so I could line everything up perfectly. And this just makes sure that this rainbow will be put together correctly. Sometimes if you're kind of guesstimating, you won't place it properly and it will look a little funky. So you want to use that positive piece just to help you out. So I went ahead and added the two clouds and you can see the dimension really pop on that black cardstock. And I will add the first rainbow stripe and then I can remove the positive piece because everything else will snuggle within that first rainbow stripe. So I just am using liquid adhesive here because that's the easiest way to do it unless you went ahead and added double-sided adhesive before you did the die cutting but I obviously did not and will stick with the liquid glue. As you can see the color is trapped within these little rainbow stripes and I think it's so pretty. I will show a little clip at the end where I move my card and you really can see the different colors that have been trapped within the rainbow and because the glossy accents adds dimension to the card, it is just so fun. I love, love, love how this turned out. For the sentiment itself, I wanted to pull out that holographic paper again, and you can see that I keep the scraps of this because I just don't want to waste it, and I will be cutting out that no bad days sentiment. I also will cut out the shadow piece out of vellum because I really wanted it to stand out, it kind of gets lost because of the clouds and that vellum just really acts as a buffer from the background and the clouds and I am using liquid adhesive to adhere everything together. As with vellum, you will see any adhesive that seeps out so you want to be very careful with your liquid adhesive to make sure that you're not putting too much so you'll see it within the vellum. Once I have everything together, I will add that to the card and I am so excited with how this turned out. I will say that I did do the technique of just wiping off the ink and it is very light and subtle. So if you want to go for more dramatics, you definitely want to use the glossy accents to trap that ink and if you want a more subtle look, you definitely can just wipe off the ink with a microfiber cloth and that will tint the holographic paper and that will work as well. But I thought that for this particular card, being more dramatic was the way to go. So I also pulled out Trini Stamps Bubble Blower Embellishments because these have this iridescent, kind of almost holographic look too. All these colors are all the same, but you can see that the gems kind of pick up a different color. And you can see the glitteriness from that stencil used alongside the pixie dust. And this card is just glittery and pretty and bright and gorgeous. I just love it. I'm so excited. So I hope you enjoyed this card. And I will see you guys next time with another one. Bye.